Alrighty, so welcome back to Unreal Engine Andy. So today we are going to go over movement. So by the time of the end of the video, you will have movement for Wukong. As you can see, go forward, backward, left, right, forward, left, and forward, right, backwards, left, and backwards, right. So we don't have any animations, but uh, we will soon get that done. But that is what we are going to be going over today is movement. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the editor uh, fired up. Uh, now, the first thing I want to do is give a shout out to two gentlemen. Uh, one is Stephen Uliberry and the other one is Tom Lohman. These two individuals helped me tremendously on getting started with Unreal Engine C++. So there's two courses. Now this is not a promotion for Udemy and I'm not getting paid or anything. So, but if you go onto Udemy and you look for Stephen Uliberry and Tom Lohman, those two gentlemen helped me tremendously with C++ and Unreal Engine. And I will go ahead and link their information in the description. Now Tom Lohman also has a website that has some good articles uh, that is really good. So uh, I'll go ahead and link that down at the bottom. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to go to project settings and you want to go down to where it says engine section input. Now we have action mappings and we have access axis mappings so we will be doing action mappings those are like for your action buttons like left mouse button things like that axis is what we will be doing so what you want to do is right here on axis mappings click the plus sign then click the down arrow on axis mappings and you'll see new axis mapping zero we just want to go ahead and type in move forward and hit the little arrow beside it hit the keyboard and we want to move forward so you don't want to do left mouse button so I'm going to correct that and I want to do the W key so we also need the backwards. So hit that. And when you hit that, you can hit S to move backwards. Now also the scale is going to be one. We need it to be negative one for the value that's going to be passed in. And we'll go over that once we go into the code. Now we want to go into here and you want to type in game pad left y axis so that is move forward we also will need move backwards so do axis mappings hit the plus and i'm sorry not move backward move right so we need to move right go ahead and click that and then you hit the D key and it automatically fills it in. We go ahead and click another one and we are going to need the A. Now for this one we want to for the D key it wants to be positive. Now for the A key we need to be negative because D is going to be moving right and then a is going to be moving left so we use negative value go ahead and do game pad left axis and that should be it so we have move forward w positive 1 1 1.0 s scale of negative 1 and we have game game pad left thumbstick y axis and you leave that as 1 and d one a is negative one game pad left thumb axis is one so let's just go ahead and save that 
and we will jump right into the code. So right in here, we are inside the header file. So what we're going to need is we're going to need protected under begin value. We're going to be needing two functions, move forward, move backward. So we do a void move forward. And we're going to need another one called void move right. and move forward and backward. And move left and right. And we'll go ahead and save that. And we need to create the definitions for these. So you can click there, go over here, generate definition. In Visual Studio, it's, I think it's the same way. It's been a while since I've used Visual Studio. So we have move forward and move right. We need to check to make sure that the controller, that uh, either keyboard controller uh, is valid and also that it's the value that's being passed in the one and negative one is not zero. So we want to do if and let's say controller not equals no pointer and a value not equals zero. And so we have controller not equals don't pointer and value not equals zero dot f. And the reason it does the value. We have an error here, and that is because we need to pass in two floats. Because that one and that negative one, we need to pass in the floats. So just pass in value float, and we'll just do float value. So move forward in the header file, and we need to make sure we have a float a value and move right float value. So let's go back into the CPP file, and we need to make sure that we pass it into the argument. Okay, so that takes care of that, and the same thing for the move right. You know, it is kind of early in the morning. And I still need my coffee. So for move forward, we need to find which way is forward. And for that, we're going to use an F rotator. Now, an F rotator implements a container for rotation information. And then all rotation values are stored as degrees. Now, if you don't understand what an F F a rotator is, you can look it up in the Unreal Engine documentation. Just go to Google and type in Unreal Doc F rotator, and that will explain what the F rotator is. So we need the controller, and we need to get con control rotation. There we go. Get control rotation. That's why I like Rider. It fills stuff in for me. So we need to get the rotation. And now we need to create another const f rotator. And we need the yaw rotation. 
We need the yaw rotation. What we're going to do is zero out the pitch and the roll, but the rotation, we need the yaw. So right here, we get control rotation and then const F rotator yaw a rotation. We zero out the pitch and the yaw. So now what we need to do is get the X axis direction from the rotation matrix. So we're going to be using an F rotation matrix. And again, if you don't know, we're going to, this is going to be a vector. So we get direction, we get a F rotation matrix. We're going to be using the yaw rotation. And we're going to get the unit axis, not the X is, X S. And this is an E axis. And we want to X. Do, 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 do. There we go. So now that we have the vector, because we've got the rotation, we've got the yaw rotation zeroed out to pitch and yaw, we've got the direction, now we need to add a movement input. And we're going to be using the direction and the value that was passed in. So to move forward, this is, we're getting the direction from the rotation matrix. Now add movement input, add movement input along the given world direction vector. So that is direction and value. Value is being passed in through the move forward that we created in the editor that 1.0 and negative 1.0. So there's values in between that and that is what this value is. Now the beauty of this is we can take all of this, we can copy it, paste it right down here, and the only thing we really need to change is the Y. And we'll go ahead and save. So let's move forward. We're going to move forward and backward. And right here, we're going to move left and right. Now, if you compile this and try to use the controls, they're not going to work. And the reason for that is we need to bind the functionality. So right here, setup player input component, call to bind a functionality to input. This is where you're going to be putting all your bindings for your keyboards, control controllers, things like that. So whatever you put into the axis mappings or into the action mappings, you more than likely are going to come down here and put it inside these setup player input. And we need to make sure component is valid. So we're just going to say check player input component. I uh, love the code completion in writer. I think that's player movement. I think that's the reason why I actually bought it is because of the code completion. So now we're going to bind the two keys and we do that with player input component and we do a bind axis parentheses or quotes move forward. This has to be exactly how it was typed in in the editor. If anything is misspelled, it's not going to work. If there is a lowercase, let's say I do an F, that's not going to work. It needs to be exactly how it is in the editor. 
And I think Ryder completes it for you, to be honest. Wukong character move forward. And we use the scope resolution for this. That is this right here. That is the scope resolution. And we also are just going to copy and paste this. And instead of move forward, we move right. Move right. And oh, okay. I thought I saw some red there. Let me double check to make sure that these are move forward and move right. Everything should be good to go. So we'll just go ahead and save this and we will do a hot reload. <clears throat> so this uh, should just get you moving forward, left and right. Uh, we're going to be doing the turning for the keyboard and mouse and the controllers uh, in the next video. And looking up and down, things like that. So let's go here and click play. Click inside and you can move forward. You can move back, left, and right. If you move forward and left, you go diagonal. Same thing with backwards. And that is it. So if for some reason you, if it's not working for you, more than likely you are going to need to j double check your project settings and move forward and move backward. Double check these to make sure that they are spelled exactly how it is in the code. Also, if it's not working for you properly, you need to make sure, and I've made this mistake plenty of times, you need to make sure that the scale for the W is 1, for the S is negative 1. Gamepad is just 1. And for the D key, it's 1. And for the A key, it's negative 1. If it's not working for you double check that just to make sure so that is it for this video uh, make sure you like and subscribe 